everyone so my daughter is sleeping right now so i decided to record a video and i'm gonna do a tag i'm gonna do two tags actually so the next video you see uh i probably have on the same thing not sure yet but uh I'm, first i'm gonna do the what's in my purse bag and i purposely did not clean out of my purse clean out of clean out my purse because I wanted to be honest and I wanted to show you guys everything that's in my purse and how junky my purse really is. So the purse that I have is this huge Louis Vuitton purse. And let's see. First thing. Now I have a one year old so there might be some kid things in here. Uh, first this is the wallet I have. I got this for my birthday from my auntie. Uh she got it from Victoria's Secret. Uh, this is, I have to cover up my ID, but this is what it looks like in the inside. I have um, insurance cards and all that stuff, debit cards on that side. And then it has the pockets here. And it also has a pocket here. Uh, this was in, this didn't come with it, but this was inside of it. I keep my husband's business cards inside of this. And this is what his card looks like. And that's the back. And then I have, this is my daughter's favorite book. I have this in there. I also have my book, the book that I'm reading right now, which is by uh, Heather Lindsay. So, and yeah, inside of here is like crazy amount of stuff. I have pictures. This is my wedding desk, my father, my husband, and my cousin. Um, personal. I don't know why this is in my purse because I didn't use it I should have but this is the uh, offering envelope from church I have lotion I should probably invest in a smaller one but I just grabbed this and put it in my purse um, headphones a soothing some people call them pacifiers uh, deodorant, which I should probably get a smaller one of these. Medicine. Let's see. A rattle. <laughs> I like this pen. See that? It has like, what is this? Little rhinestones. I don't know if you can see that or not. Little rhinestones in it. And it like, Twist. I'm not even sure if it still works. It works. Um, I have barrettes. I have, okay, so don't judge me, but I took a smaller purse because I currently do not have a makeup bag. So I took a smaller purse and I put my makeup in it. Now yesterday when we were going to church, I didn't get a chance, we were running kind of late, so I didn't get a chance to finish my makeup and... I just put a whole bunch of stuff in this bag and took it with me, did it in the car. So I took this purse. This is what I usually carry when I'm carrying a big diaper bag or something. And let's see, I have the e.l.f. Uh, powder brush. I love doing my foundation with this brush actually. These are by Eco Tools. This is an angled brush and a blending brush. Um, I use this for my eyebrows. This is actually a uh, came from mas a mascara, and I just cleaned it and I use it for my eyebrows. Um, not sure who this is by, but this is black. This is um, eyeliner. It's the one that you move up and down. Um, this is by e.l.f. This is the shadow brush. 
the foundation that I'm currently using is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup. This is in warm. This is SPF 17. Oil-free, all-day wear. It's um pretty good. I usually use Revlon, but I'm trying this out right now. Uh, I have the e.l.f. face primer. Now, mind you, all this stuff is in this bag because I had to do my makeup in the car. So, um, Currently, I'm using the Maybelline Great Lash Waterproof Mascara. It's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. I have the Revlon full ready um concealer i use this to for my brows and under my eyes it's like this because my daughter got a hold of it somehow and the top is horrible if you can see that top is horrible so i definitely have to clean that today um this is the elf eyelid primer i just bought this yesterday so I'm not sure if it's like really great or not. I just, I used it today. So I'll let you know. I'll do a review on this. Um, I have really bad uh, eczema. I'm not sure if you guys can like see it on my chest. I have it on my back and my neck. And I also have it like right here in this area. For some people, your T-zone is very oily. But my T-zone is very 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 dry so on top of using which is not in here right not with me right now i use uh i can't think of the name of it i'm not sure i'll put it like somewhere i use that as a moisturizer and sometimes, like, when on the really, really hot days or the really, really, really cold days. I live in Michigan, so the days differ. Monday could be 90 and Tuesday could be 62. So, depending on the day, I may use the cortisone. Uh, this really helps. I don't like to use it too much because it has steroids in it. But some days I really, really need this. Like, I use this almost every day for my Back. my back needs this every day but I don't like to use it so much on my face because um, it has steroids in it I have the what I used on my eyes today uh, is the wet n wild palette um, eyeshadow palette it's it's supposed to be like the eyelid the crease and the brow it's I like I really like the eyelid I'm a natural person. I don't like to do too many colors, like pops of colors, but I'm going to be doing colors as far as tutorials on here. But um, for my everyday looks, this is what I use. This is the palette I run to, basically, um, for everyday quick little get up and go, got to do this, you know, this is my palette. Um, I have the, oh, I cannot live without this. I lost one. Um. I was at a rehearsal at a church and uh, my purse fell over and my pencil came out, my eyebrow pencil, and I like cried. I called the church. I called people I know that go to the church, like, did you find it? No one could find it, so I had to go buy another one. But um, this is the MAC eyebrow pencil. This is in the color Spiked. I cannot live without this. I, I need this. Um, it's a little more than what I would want to spend on an eyebrow pencil, but it's worth it. I also have by MAC the Mineralized Skin Finish. And this is medium dark. Also, I'm trying this out for the first day. So when I do the review on the the eyeshadow primer, I'll do the review on the this. This is the NYX eyeshadow base. And this is in white. I use this today as well. Um, so far, it's okay, but I'll do a review on it and let you know how how it goes. And the last thing in this purse, uh, in this little makeup bag, I believe. Um, nope. Wait. I have some change. <laughs> and this is this was a birthday gift. Um, it's a perfume, a roll-on perfume. 
and we was at a rehearsal and my friend walked past me and I smelled it and I was like, oh my God, this smells so good. And she was like, oh, you like it? I'll get you one. She came to rehearsal the next day with one. This is the Paris Hilton um, roll-on perfume. I really like that. And last was in my purse. Wait, let me make sure that's the last because it's a really big purse. So I have my phone. My husband just bought this case. It comes with another part, but he just bought this case off of... Amazon, it has like little kickstand thingy. And this is the Galaxy S3. Um, let's see, this is my, this was what's on the front. That's my daughter. Um, I don't have a lock screen. I unlocked it, but this, I, I like it. I've always been a iPhone person, an Apple product person, but it's okay. I mean, I like it. I like it better than iPhone actually now. When I first got it, I didn't, but I like Android better than iPhone now. And that is all that's in my purse. This huge, gigantic purse of mine. It has the straps, the strap here, which I usually carry like this when I have my daughter in my hand, but on the regular, I carry it like this. Um, it zips. The inside is like this. Has the zipper here and has pockets on the other side. And that's all that's in my purse. And thank you for watching. If you could subscribe, please. And like, comment, tell me the videos that you want to see.